us live from the Salt Dome in Camp Washington. Mario? Yeah, Bryce, right now you can see it's starting to fall and the salt truck behind me is getting ready to load up and move out. Now, officials here at the Cincinnati Public Works Department tell me that this time around it's going to be a little different. And now that people around the tri-state have a taste of what winter has to offer this year, their preparations are going to be a little different as well. On the way home, I heard that it was supposed to snow again tomorrow and uh, figured I better have some. I just, I have a little bit left, but I want to be sure. Greg Schott is one of many who headed straight to the hardware store to pick up some salt and a few other things. Last year, people didn't really buy a whole lot, so they're kind of all unprepared. Whether prepared or not, some are looking ahead to a shaky winter. The first major storm, you always, whatever day that is, that's how many, how many uh, snowstorms oh, you're going to have that, that year. Yeah. Cincinnati Public Works is prepared with their salt for their second storm situation this winter. We're going to start out with our plows on our trucks since we are expecting some accumulation. First, the other night we knew we were going to start out with some rain, sleet. With 12 to 15,000 tons of salt in this dome alone, it's still not enough to service all 60 salt trucks that will be on the roads tonight. There are four salt domes spread throughout the city. All of them a part of the salting plan, which could change a number of times throughout the night. So we put together, um, like I said, a basic plan of what we see coming forward until the midnight hour. And then at midnight, I also go back in and set out another plan to address how the weather's changed. And our intention is to continue pre-treating until the conditions change. We're going to start out with our primary routes. And uh, the weather's supposed to change at some point, so we'll probably have to adjust our plan at some point through tonight. Yeah, so these salt truck drivers can look forward to a long night as the snow starts to fall and stick to the streets. They're doing 12 hour shifts, 7 a.m., or I should say 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, then 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., and it goes on and on until these roads. Uh, are no longer slick. Reporting live from Cincinnati Public Works Valley View Department, Mario Ramirez, 9 News. Back to you, Bryce. All right, thanks, Mario. Big flake.